Hello everyone and welcome to Music Myths episode number 100. Can you believe it? A hundred episodes of this stuff and we're still going strong. Now my first myth today asks if there's any truth behind the story that the great Dr. John once sold drugs, he ran a brothel, and he did some rather unseemly medical procedures all while he was still in high school apparently. Now there's no question that Dr. John is one of the greatest humans ever to exist and growing up in New Orleans during the 40s and 50s, he was certainly exposed to these sorts of elements. But even for Dr. John and that area and that time period, this seems a little bit too far-fetched, but it's actually basically true. As a lot of people did, in the late 50s and 60s, Dr. John did sell drugs, and for a while he was part of the he was part of the management team at a local brothel. And yes, he was part of a business that did offer abortions, which at the time were all sorts of illegal. Dr. John was arrested a number of times and he spent some time in prison. And at the end of the day, all of these claims are completely true, but it didn't happen when he was in high school. Today's second myth is a bit of an odd one, but it actually came by a couple times. So I feel it necessary to address the question of whether or not David Bowie's Ziggy Stardust record is actually just a bunch of botched first takes from the band. Strangely enough, a lot of big time Bowie Bowie fans like to trot this claim out there as it somewhat diminishes what is a very highly held record. And for some reason, hating on Ziggy Stardust is oddly popular in Bowie circles. I don't get it. But as nice as it might sound to some people, it's completely false. Every single word of it is. The rise and fall of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars was actually recorded over a number of sessions between September of 71 and January of 72. And a number of the songs recorded during those sessions were released on later records. Over that time, nearly every single song on the album was recorded a number of different times, although a few first takes did make it onto the final pressing. And yes, a handful of miscues did make their way into the final recordings, but it's almost impossible to find any album from any point in history that doesn't have some flaws on it. So no, while David Bowie is certainly a magical guy, Ziggy Stardust is not a collection of botched first takes. It's recorded just as well as almost any of his other records. The last myth this week is a rather dark one, no pun intended, as over the last few years, a number of rumors have come up that Heath Ledger's performance as the Joker in The Dark Knight was actually inspired by none other than Tom Waits. This one exploded onto the internet following his performance in The Dark Knight as the Joker and his passing, as his performance in so many ways bears a striking resemblance to a lot of Tom Waits interviews, one of which I've gone ahead and linked in the notes below. From his body posture, to the tone of his voice, to his general demeanor, it's really hard not to see it as a very clear connection. But it's not like this would be the first time that an actor took his inspiration from somewhere else. Obviously, we'll never know the 100% truth on this, but but from the evidence that we do have, it seems pretty damn likely that one came from the other. So those are my myths for this week. Be sure to check back here every week as I delve into some of the coolest stories in music history. If you've got a myth you want me to check out, go ahead and email it to me at thedailyguru at gmail.com. You can follow me on Twitter and Facebook right here, and I'll see you guys again next week. <laughs>